questions for Trey? Well, Trey, I hate to start out with the bad point, but just walk me through the injury. Uh, so I fractured my uh, tibia and my fibula. It, it like basically snapped in half. So uh, they had went in and repaired it, uh, put a rod and uh, four screws. When it happened, how quickly did you know it was really bad? I mean, I felt it. And then I looked at my leg, and it was just uh, dangling over. So I already knew it was over. You surprised you're back to where you are this fast? No. No? No, no. I was walking within a couple of days after surgery. What? Um Walk us through that. Walk us through the, from walking to back to being trailer. Uh, so it started uh, a couple of days after I got back to Morgantown. Uh, they got me going fast, started walking, did the crutches after three days. And then after that, they was just uh, told me the faster I walk and walk normal, the faster I'll be back. And I just did that and I'm back here now. How long did, how long did it take to stop feeling sorry for yourself? Uh, probably like a week. Yeah, probably like a week or after it first happened. Uh, yeah, yeah, that was a, yeah, that was the roughest week of my life. How much was it a help to have Burks kind of going through his own type of thing, even though not maybe as serious mm -hmm. of an issue in terms of the whole year for you? Uh, I really, I don't, I don't think it really did much. Okay. Yeah, it really didn't do much. They just mean like a mentorship thing, like I'm yeah. also dealing with this. Like, yeah. Is there any of that type of thing or even communication? No, nah, not yeah. really. Much, yeah. Biggest disappointment, you were kind of coming in your own, right? Yeah. I mean, it, things were really starting to happen for you. Dude. Yeah. How do you pick up from there? Uh, just basically told myself uh, where I was at last year, uh, it's going to be a lot different this year, and then just get better. And then anything I want, I could go grab it. So that's the kind of mentality I have right now. I think you were at that point last year, right up to the point where you had your injury. I mean, it seemed like you had a great command of the defense. You were really seeing things, uh, making plays. Talk about that a little bit. Oh, uh, I was doing good. Uh, I was getting. I felt like I was getting better each and every week. Uh, a lot of things were starting to come clear once I started playing more and getting more snaps. So, just taking that and running with it. Have you been able to pick up where you left off? Oh yeah, most definitely. Any restrictions at all, or are you? No, I'm fine. I'm totally fine. fine. Yeah. Back to back to the old tray light. Yes, sir. No pain. No when it rains, I feel. It no, I don't feel. I don't feel anything. <laughs> yeah, I don't feel anything. What about this defense? Talk about this defense. You've got some different players out there, yeah. um, some different pieces. Brought in some guys. What do you think? Uh, what What's fans going to see this year that's maybe different from what we saw last year? I think this year uh, our defense is uh, more hungry. I think this is the best defense. Uh, since I've been here, I think this is the best thing, defense that we had. Uh, we got a different type of mentality this year. I mean, we don't have to coach guys running to the ball. Everybody's getting to the ball every play. So I think it's going to be a lot different. I heard a lot of guys say physical. That yeah. seems to be the word for the yeah. defense. Is that something you're, yeah. you guys would be conscious about? I mean, yeah. I mean, we just try to go out there and just, I mean, it is what it is. We try to beat our offense every day because that's the team that we're going against. So we try to beat our offense. Like We're very competitive, and I think that's what's really got us going. Trey, there's a lesson in everything in life, you know, mm -hmm. when you, whether you win or lose or yeah. play good, play bad. Uh, when something like, you know, that could be catastrophic happens and it isn't, what's the lesson that, that you take out of where you go from here now? Oh, uh, I learned, because uh, football is my life, but I learned my life isn't over. I feel uh it basically put it in perspective. Uh, one day I'm gonna be done with this, and basically that's what it felt like uh, for those uh, six months. It felt like I was done with football, so I had to really focus on my life and really get things going on track. Has you ever been hurt before? Yeah, I've been hurt before. Um, not to that extent, though, right? No, not to that extent. But I, I broke some bones. What was, what was the other thing you done? Uh, I fractured my uh, foot um, last spring. I tore my meniscus, so I had to so get a surgery on meniscus. Deals. Yeah. Neil had relayed a story about you in the ambulance. Trying yeah. Trying to listen to the game, watch yeah. the game, whatever. <laughs> Tell us that story. So, when uh, you got in there, what happened, and how, how are you keeping up with the game? So, uh, Patrick, uh, my mom, because my mom was crying so much, but I'm trying to ask Patrick, like, what's the score of the game? Like, <laughs> like what's going on in the game? And then he just give me his phone, and uh, I'm watching the game, like, as I'm on the way to the hospital. Calm down your mom at all, or was she still? I mean, yeah, I told her I was fine. Like, I told her I was fine, but she was crying. She always going to cry because that's my mom. So. <laughs> so where were you to watch the end of it? 
And what was your reaction? Uh, I was happy. I was happy the whole time. Like, I honestly forgot I was even hurt. Like, I was just, I felt like I was out there with, with my team. So you saw the block? Yeah, I, I saw him, yeah. <laughs> when, you're, when you're looking at the game from afar, I mean, you obviously don't want to be injured. But what, yeah. I mean, what are, I guess, a couple of positives? Seeing things from, you know, a wider view and kind of maybe taking some things in and a little bit of a coaching role. Uh, like I said, like, it was just like, like, football is going to be over for me one day. And I understand that. And then just being there for my teammates, uh, just trying to figure out a bigger role than the other. Obviously, I can't play. Just trying to be there supporting them in every way I can. Just from your position, uh, is it nice having more guys in your room? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, uh, it's a lot. Uh, those guys, I love those guys. Yeah. Yeah, we got a lot more guys that's going to help us this year. So look at Trotter. We hear a lot about him. Obviously, he was hurt last year yeah. to get a play. So now that he's healthy and going, what, what's Josiah like? Man, Trotter, Trotter's a he's a dog. Uh, Trotter has the biggest upside out of anybody in the room. He's just his he has a nose for the football, and it's just I don't I don't know if he gets it from his dad, but I feel like Trotter's Trotter's the biggest the biggest has the biggest upside in the room. Watching the linebackers seems like you know this increase in speed is obviously noticeable. Is that the most important thing in getting to the ball, or is it the sense of being able to know where things are going, diagnosing plays? What's what's the most important thing for you to get to the ball? Uh, angles, uh, angles most importantly because if you key step, you key step the right way, and you take the right angle, you get to the ball faster than just being fast. And does that come from just initial steps of the offensive line formation? Yeah, that comes with initial steps. Their... Initial steps with the offensive line. thoughts on today's uh, practice? I felt like as a defense, we played good, but we could have played better. Uh, we obviously lost some plays out there on the field, and it's just uh, just got to come back on Monday and fix and fix those corrections. Trey, you mentioned something a couple times that the injury, you kind of realized one day football will be over. Yeah. I'm guessing that prepares you for that yeah. many, many years from now. Yeah. Did you think at all about like career after football, or did you buckle down on academics in a certain area, like pick up a hobby? I have no idea. Like, it sounded like you, uh, you went somewhere Yeah, I thought time. about, uh, well, I want to start a trucking business, so I just uh, was looking into that more and, uh, like, getting more into school because when we're, like, in the season and stuff, it's not really, like, we go to class and stuff. Like, school's very important and stuff, but we're not really focused on it. So I started focusing on school and actually started doing much more work. You said what? What about a trucking business got your attention? That's a uh, very particular career. So I, uh, in high school, I took a economics class, and then with COVID and everything, uh, with the shortage of drivers and people being out stuck on the port, like near the port for six months, it's just a billion dollar industry, and it's just, it was a shortage on drivers, and it took my interest because I like driving too. Trey, I want to ask you, um, we've been hearing a lot about culture and you know, mm -hmm. the, the locker rooms, right? Guys get along. Why is that important in your opinion? Uh, because if the guys don't like each other and the guys can't stand up for each other or be within each other, that means you're never going to click. And that's what we try to build here with Coach Brown. Uh, I think that's really important. That's really important to us, uh, just clicking and just – they encourage us to hang out more than we do here, like try to go out bowling. I like just try to hang out with each other more because uh, that's the guys that we're going to be around and the guys that we're going to fight with when it's uh, come to the end. It can't be forced, right? It's got to be genuine. If yeah, a yeah. player, you know that, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, everybody in the locker room likes each other. I don't think there's any problems that we have. Even if there is a fight, like, uh, it's just really squashed and we just take it back in the locker room. We we all click as one. First time you met CJ, how old were you? First time I met CJ, I was seven. Yeah, seven. I've been playing against CJ when I was seven, since I was seven. So like midget league football or something yeah. like that. Yeah, pop one. Different teams. Same yeah, team? different. Yeah, different teams. We played against different what teams. What did he play? He that? played uh, receiver. Uh huh. Receiver. Yeah. Did you ever envision him as a running back when you no. were young? No. I still say this to the day. CJ not a running back. <laughs> I still see CJ as the little uh, receiver, tight end kind of dude. Yeah. Yeah. yeah.